Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. This is the Herman's font that I'm going to be showing you. You can find more fonts like this at calfonts.com. The reason I chose this one is because it has a fairly complex a number of nodes and everything. And we're looking at the contour tool to see how is the best way to select these. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is just the basic click on a node, okay? You can also click on a line and you can click on a handle. So any of those things to select those. If I am, if I use the, the square, uh, just holding and dragging, then it's going to select everything here. Um, if I want to add on things to that, suppose I've selected this, but I want to add this because I'm trying to make this part of the P thicker, then I hold down shift, I select this and I select the other one. And now I have that all together. So now if I hold down shift plus right or left arrow, then I can make this thinner or thicker. Okay. Now, if I want other things to sort of adjust as I'm moving those, then I'm going to hold down also C first, then shift. Then I'm going to put push right or left. And you can see, look right up here that this node is going to be moving with that. Okay. Another way to highlight all these things, and this, uh, it depends. This can be a little bit tricky depending on how difficult your selection is. Hold down option and then highlight the ones that you want. Oops. So I'm going around here and then I go around like that. Okay. So not too bad. I got that side. Now, if there's something here that I don't want, I can hold down shift and then take it out of my selection. And then I have a similar thing that I can play with. So those are some ways of selecting with the contour tool. Wait, 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 stop right there. One more thing that I want to add is if you want to highlight everything, select everything, then instead of just clicking on one segment like this, you're going to click on a uh, double click on the segment. Now we have everybody highlighted. Let's turn that off so it doesn't, not too much. There you go. You might be wondering what is a node type? So you have two types of smooth nodes and those are going to be the circle one here. And that means that there is a curve on both sides. And then you have the triangle, which means there's a straight line on one side, but then there's a curve on the other side. Okay, let's zoom in a bit and look at the sharp nodes. So this is the third type and it's represented by the square. And it can have curves on the, on each side of it, but, or it can have just straight lines. So you see if, and how do I change this to be a straight line here? Well, I just click on a handle and I push delete and then that's gone. So now it's changed to a straight segment. So now if you want to get that back to curved, hold down option on your keyboard, click on the segment, and then that brings it back. And now I can adjust my handles exactly as I want. Okay. Now for something like this here, say I want to get this to be a smooth thing. So, cause I have the curve back, but now I have this, what's called a kink because it's not smooth. So one thing I can do is pull this up and then I double click on this and then that changes it to smooth. Now, sometimes when you double click to change the sharp nodes into smooth nodes, Sometimes they're going to end up being crooked like this. And I know that this is not perfectly straight. Well, just because of the angles that it's telling me, but also because the node is of a green color, a brighter green and not the dark green color. So how are we going to fix that? You're going to click on the handle. You're going to start moving it to the left and then I hold down shift and then it's going to automatically sort of snap into vertical position. And we can tell that this is vertical because it is darker green here. So those are some of the node types and how to change a curved line segment into a straight and then vice versa. I am going to be showing you some of the settings that I use in my drawing window to make it just a bit more readable and easy to use. Most of the settings to change the glyph window here are going to be found in preferences under the glyph tab. So you can go up here to font lab, then down to preferences. And now we are going to look at some of this. Okay, so I tend to like my nodes a little bit brighter and bigger than they are here. Uh, that's gonna depend on uh, just the size of your screen and things like that. So let's click this here a little bit bigger. 
style. I like this style because I want, so, so what this does is it makes the things that are exactly horizontal or exactly vertical, it's gonna make those darker. See if I change this to here, as it makes everything the same color, but I like it part like this because that's gonna help me know which things are exactly horizontal and exactly vertical. Okay, so now let's also change the color to one notch brighter and I hit apply there. Okay, so now we're looking a bit brighter. This is the setting that I usually use. If maybe you had a really fine hairline font, something like that, and you don't wanna have to zoom in more, then maybe you would change this to a little bit smaller like that, okay? I like this one for most cases. Some other things to check out, the fill does not need to be that dark, and that's because you can always push spacebar and then it's gonna make everything black for you. So if you want, you can put the fill dark like this. I tend to like it about at the normal uh, area there. Okay, so quick measurements. I do like to show end lines um, on the fill. Uh, and I usually, well, I usually I actually say um, everywhere. Okay, and this is just gonna help me to get more measurements around as I'm looking, okay? So when I put this here, see it shows not only the measurements that are near my cursor, but on the nodes on either side of the cursor. So I tend to like that because that, especially for these curvy sort of fonts, that gives me an idea of what's actually happening for other parts of it, okay? Uh, if you want to, you can also add this to get an idea of what it looks like, show the center line and some things like this. So let's take a look at that. See, that's gonna give something a little bit more like that, where it's gonna show you for your segment, what part is thinner and which part is getting wider. So this darker blue part, that's gonna be the thinner part. And as it, and it goes to the different colors of rainbow, that's when it's getting to, to other types of uh, other widths. In the view panel, there's a lot of different ways that you can change exactly how it looks. Sometimes you might wanna put the curvature cone on for this font. That doesn't make that much sense, so we're gonna turn that off. Okay, so that's about it. Getting your drawing space exactly how you want it, that is just gonna help you to feel more comfortable in the program. You can see uh, from the wall behind me that I like bright colors, so that's how I do all that. Please hit the like button and if you have a comment please put that below i want to know what types of things can i be doing that are going to help you make fonts or use font lab 7 better thanks so much for watching